Hey guys, it's Misko here. I have a very, very quick quiz for you. Which one of these are niches? UI and UX design, branding design, and graphic design. If you even thought about this, and if you even thought that one of these were niches, I am extremely disappointed because these are not niches. There are billions and billions and billions and billions of these designers in this world. And if you think these are niches, you're literally digging yourself your own grave. So if you want to increase your rates or you want to land that full-time job or you want to get more clients, you have to niche down. And in this video, I've got a template for you and we're going to break it down for you step by step. Most importantly, if you are just starting out, Companies don't want to work with someone who is a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Because if you think about it, the companies that you want to work with, the ones who are going to treat you well, the ones who actually care about you, these companies normally have a reasonable and very meaningful budget. Now, when they have a budget, they have choice and they're not going to be extremely tight about how much they want to spend. They want to invest in the right person, the right skill set, so they can do one job really, really well because it gives them confidence that if they're gonna pay you X amount, that the work that you produce will actually give them a positive return on investment for themselves. Now, there are companies who do want to get the jack of all trades and the master of none, but these are the companies that you normally complain about because they will squeeze you for everything that you've got and they generally have the lowest budget as well. However, if you've already successfully niched down and you probably wouldn't be watching this video anyway if you have, then there will be a time when you have built enough authority that you want to start increasing the skills and the services that you provide to increase your market share. However, that is for another video. This video is about how you should niche down and why it is fundamentally so important for someone starting out, and this is probably why you are watching this video. To get you started, I've already done all the hard work for you. I have a template, and all you have to do is fill in the blanks. So here we go. All right guys, since I have already done the hard work for you, I would highly appreciate it if you gently smash that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that you appreciate this video and you appreciate that Minsko has done the hard work for you already. So here is a very simple sentence that will help you niche down. So I am a, and you ins insert your discipline, specialized in a specific skill set for a specific customer type that are struggling with a business problem. So what are we doing here and what is an example? So here we go. I am a designer specialized in UI and UX design for early stage startups that are struggling with product validation and getting more customers. So what is actually happening here? So the very first thing is we're warming up the conversation. We're not going in and start telling them, yes, we're UI UX designer, early stage startups and product validation, right? We're just framing it quite nicely. We're saying, we, I am a designer, proud designer. I am specialized in UI and UX. When we're telling a customer or a business that I'm specialized in UI and UX, subconsciously, you're already planting the seed that, okay, they're specializing this, meaning they, they should have some very tactical insights and experience around this realm, around this industry, around this uh, line of work. And then you're instilling more trust and you're instilling the fact that you can provide a lot of value because you are specialized in UI and UX and early stage startups. If the client that you're working with or if the business that you're uh, going to, to get a full-time role and they're an early stage startup, then you are targeting those pain points. You are targeting the audience very, very, very specifically with a very laser focus. And, and when you start to really align with your customer or the business that you're applying for, that is where the magic happens, where the stars align and they're just saying, wow, why haven't we hired you already? Because you're answering all the questions that they have. And then when you follow along saying that are struggling with product validation and getting more customers, you're not just saying I'm, I'm focused on your and your UX with early stage startups. You're now laser focusing on the pain points that the business or the clients that you're looking to pitch to those challenges that they actually face. So instead of just saying I'm a UI and UX designer or I am a graphic designer or I am a branding designer, you need to niche down by getting more specific on what you stand for and the value that you can provide a client or a business. Now, one very good example is Gareth Wan's design portfolio. 
I actually reviewed his design portfolio a couple of weeks ago and you can check it up, the link is just up there. But as you can see here, his headline says, I help early stage startups turn complicated products into intuitive experiences. Very tactically and immediately, if I was a customer, I know exactly what he's specialized in and what he's good at. And this, when you start to utilize this and start to revolve your thinking around this, you will start to realize it will help elevate and bring a lot more focus in your design, in your line of work, in your portfolio, and the story becomes very, very consistent. Now, if you really, really want to set yourself apart from all the wannabes, then this is also something that you can follow on with to really strengthen your niche, but also your elevator pitch. So, I am a designer specialized in UI and UX for early stage startups that are struggling with product validation and getting more customers. You should highly consider me because this is my passion. I've even turned an idea into a profitable side business which I can bring tactical insights to yours. Now, I'm catering this for people who are just starting out. So I'm not saying I have 10 years of experience, blah, 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 blah. I'm saying something that you can actually achieve on the side in your own time. You can actually turn a little website into a profitable business. And if you wanna learn how I was able to do this and my journey to niching down, check the video above. I actually break down step by step of how I did it. So maybe you can use that as guidance to really start to strengthen your niche and really understand what do I stand for what is the business and value that I can provide to my clients or the business that I'm looking to get a job with and really get your foot in the door and use it as leverage. Hopefully you found a lot of value in this simple breakdown of how you can niche down and how you leverage this into getting your foot in the door, building a freelance business or whatever it might be because niching is the very first step to success because you need to build authority first before you can even think about scaling out your services or you become that jack of all trades and the master of none. If you found this useful, make sure to gently smash that like button because it really does help my channel grow and I really do and am passionate about trying to help at least 1 million creatives from all around the world. I'm gonna be releasing two videos every single week to help you become a legendary designer. Also, I love hearing from you guys, so make sure to leave a comment below, say hi, give feedback, or also suggest on things that you wanna learn, and I will make sure to line it up. All right, guys, I will see you in another video very soon.